Okay everybody, we're going to spend a few minutes today uh, looking at how to hook up the 24 foot trailer which is currently being used for the Bristow ah, eh, Stafford campus of Chapel Springs Church. My two lovely assistants today are Caleb Weaver who is playing the part of the new guy who's never done this before because he I, hasn't yes. and Bryant Hampton who is playing the part of the technical expert which he's going to summon all his thespian skills and do his best but he actually does know what he's talking about and I'm your host Andrew Coyne I will be the magic voice with the red stick to remind these guys to look at certain things now at this point we're going to assume that you've already backed the uh, van up to the right spot and we've adjusted all the hardware to the right settings thank you Vanna so that um, we can just go ahead and hook this up if you don't know how to hook the ball to the trailer you probably shouldn't be doing this what we're hoping to do is just make sure that you know some of the finer points of some of this fancy hardware uh, stabilizer bars, sway control bars, etc. Okay, so uh, through the magic of modern cinematography we have pulled the van to the right spot so Brian, would you just go ahead and crank down that jack, put the ball right on top of where it's supposed to go? First thing you want to do is lift this up. Yes, don't pinch your fingers. Can you lower the ball, the hitch onto the ball Okay, you'll notice that Bryant has put a, had a wedge of wood there, that was to make sure that lid didn't fall down on his hands, and that's why you do that. Okay, remember we're making this up as we go. Okay, so the ball is on there. On. Now we know it's on. All right. Lock this in place. This keeps the Pressure. hitch from popping off of the ball. Okay. There's, this is a lock pin. It's in the, in the box. There's a hole right here. Put it through. Now, this is locked in the place and can't come loose Boom. from there. Very, very important. That is actually a legal requirement. Safety. Okay. Next thing you want to do is your chains. Now, your chains you want to crisscross a couple times. Three is good. Those two things keeps the chains from dragging and provides a cradle or a nest if the trailer were to hop off it's got somewhere to rest in and doesn't hit the ground and clip over. Okay. After that you want to install your torsion bars. Alright, the lovely If you talent. look on these you will see a little slit. If you look on the hitch you'll see a little tab come in from the bottom and go into the past the tab and swing them back now that was easy these are designed to lift the back of the van or tow vehicle and the trailer so they ride level and it's do the hand motion. Do the squat. Do the level. 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 Caleb, do the hand motions. Level. Caleb, you know why we're doing that? Why we want it to be level? Uh, Just say no. No. No, okay. Andrew, I don't. The whole purpose of these bars is to transfer the weight of the trailer, which is actually what they call tongue weight, to the back axle of the van. And if you can get that weight on the back axle of the van, the van will be level and the weight from the engine and the rest of the van will be on the front of the van. And then you'll have lots of weight on your steering axle and the van won't feel like a giant marshmallow floating down the highway, which is very, very uncomfortable and dangerous. Delicious. Mm. Dangerous. Well, since you have to crank these up and lift all that weight, we have something here that helps you aid in that. Tell me, Jack, what's it called? Jack. So you crank this thing up. Wow. Let me do some camera angles so it makes it look like we're going really fast and high. Wow. Look at that go. Crank it up, 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 crank it up. That While he works on that, the whole, the whole idea is that when you're going down the road, you want the trailer and the van all to be level. And we have measured everything so it is. You can see the back end of the trailers, or the uh, van is kind of jacked up now. And I don't mean jacked up in the modern sense of messed up. I mean 
it's been used, a jack has been used to make this higher in the air. Okay, back to you in New York. Oh, that's the pointer stick. Point to something, Vanna. There is a pin here yes. that you remove. This will fold down. Starting at the bottom. One, two, three, four, fifth link. That's in counting the half link or not? Not including the half link. So five full links. Five full links plus a half link. Put it in. You want to stand back in case this thing pops on you and pull it into place. You got your hand on there to hold it steady? I got it on here to keep it from popping off while I'm putting the pin in. Okay. Pin is in, you All can right. let go. Wow. Who should do the next one? Time for the dummy to try. Here we go. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, who do we appreciate? Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Now, I'm gonna go into this thing. Yes? Yeah. Oh, hold on. Yeah, I'm, Right? This should be out. I didn't take that out first. That's important. Take that out first. You go to that. You know how on those cooking Two, shows three, they four, have people five. that do all this stuff when you're not looking? We don't have those people. Alright. Where does this go? It's on the hook. This goes on the hook ah. underneath. This is all live, people. We're doing this live. Alright. So it's one. Just to confirm. One, two, three, four, five. This. Step back. Okay, and hold it in place. Stick this guy back in. Just like Bryant taught me, so I can't do it as fast as him. We may have to edit this part. <laughs> no, this is real. This is how it's really going to happen. We have a faster rookie. Oh, gosh. I'm going to get fired. Thank you, Caleb. Well done. Safety. He's a whiz. All right, talking about safety. This cable, it's not here for looks. This is probably one of the most important pieces of the whole, all the equipment. What this does is the trailer breaks away from the vehicle, it locks up the brakes and stops the trailer. I should be looking at the technical expert's face when he's telling us this important stuff. You don't want the, you don't want this you don't want the trailer popping off without this because you might be stopped at a light and you see the trailer go past you. Not a good thing. What that will actually do is activate a brake system in the back axle of the trailer, and that would cause that 10,000 pound trailer to immediately start decelerating. Yes. A good idea. You want it attached to the body of the tow vehicle. Hook it to the van, people. So what we're doing is we're coming up through his, this hoop, this hole, across the top, back down through this hole on the other side, and in the box, in the big blue box, we have oh, one of these things. A little uh, carabiner. Carabiner. Hooks in there, hook it back to the other wire, as so, and now we have that. You'll notice that the uh, the safety cable, that thin little cable, is actually shorter than the chains, so that the cable would uh, would break free before the chains really had to do their work. And by that point, the rear brakes of the trailer would be helping the van slow you down. Okay, what's next? Um, we need all the lights and the be able to communicate with the vehicle and the trailer. If you look on this, there's a little pin on the top, not on the bottom. This goes up. You can unloop it first? No, it won't even loop. It'll just looped, okay. That, there's plenty of play here, and this keeps this from dragging on the ground and getting destroyed and getting tangled up in this mess here. Now, the only thing left is our sway control. There's two two uh, pins on either end. You take those pins off. And give them to Caleb, a lovely assistant. This is usually adjusted, but we're going to show you how to adjust that. This pops on there and on there. The pins go back in in the front so they're underneath the ballpark won't come off. 
goes in the back through. Make sure it doesn't come off. This, you want to bring it hand tight and then a quarter of a turn. Or so it's not facing forward. The instructions for that are written up right there on the uh, outside of the sway bar. Right. If I turn this camera upside down, we'll all get seasick, so you'll just have to trust me on that. And for the most part, we're ready to go. Lower your jack. Okay, notice the descending sensation provided by your cameraman. And if you look now, the jack is not supporting anymore. And if Mr. Camera person backs up, you'll notice that the van Hope I don't trip and the over anything. trailer are both level and parallel to the ground. It's like magic. You need to put your blocks back in your box. Because we don't want to leave them. Because they cost a little bit. Um, we have wheel chocks. Caleb, what are the purpose of wheel chocks? So the, wait, hold on. Tell me, Andrew. Well, okay. I don't know. <laughs> I do know, but. Okay, the purpose of the wheel chocks are to make sure that, that the trailer doesn't roll through the parking lot at St Stafford all by itself. Mm. Now, if it's hooked to a 6,000 pound van, you don't really need the chocks. But if you don't have a 6,000 pound van and it's just you and Caleb holding this thing back, you want the wheel chocks. Safety. How many chocks and where are they? Four chocks, correct? Yes. One on the front end, one on the back end, and then the duplicate on the other side. Right. They go into the box. He's a quick finish. learner. Yeah. All right. I think we're going to cut for now, but not before we look at this little handy guide here, which Caleb will be so kind as to pick up, yes. which has close ups. Uh, flip that top page up. Look how shiny things are. We didn't use matte paper. These are lots of close ups of all these things, and you see these silly little yellow stickers. Those are things I put on there that just illustrate points with little arrows just so you can kind of double check yourself. Printed instructions. Printed instructions. And believe it or not, we have gone through almost 15 minutes of video. So I think now is a great time to thank you all for watching and uh, say goodbye and God bless you and have a great setup, tear down, trailering experience. Hey, hey guys, guys, one, one more thing. Oh. Brian, why don't we show them where the brake controller is in the cab of the truck? Okay. Show, show Caleb. Caleb, do you know where the brake controller is? I have no idea. It's an electronic brake controller where the, the electric brakes of the trailer help assist stopping the entire rig. This thing right Oh, here. he's going for his magic wand. It's that fancy little black box with the red lights right underneath the dashboard. It goes up to 14, but we have tested it and the proper setting is 12. Okay, do you guys... No, give me 12, 12 fingers, 12 fingers. Oh my God, you, you're both college educated. 12 fingers, 12, Caleb, say 12 out 12. loud. 12, Brian, 12. say 12. No, 12. 12. 12, all right, the setting is 12. Thank you. Amen. Amen and praise the Lord.